Okay, okay. I know I'm really late on this. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer uh, came out roughly, ew, I don't know, 10 days ago, a week ago, and I originally wasn't planning on talking about it at all. For those who don't know, I have talked about 2.8 in the past, back when it was announced, and as a whole, I was not happy with the general concept of the game. I'm just kind of fatigued with the whole Kingdom Hearts plot, where there's just so, it's so convoluted at this point that we need another setup game for Kingdom Hearts 3, because we know important information is going to be in 2.8 and if you're not into 2.8 then you're going to be super confused for future installments. So at, at that point I was just kind of upset at the concept of 2.8 that we just were in this position that we need set up games like this. But seeing the new 2.8 trailer and then just kind of watching the development of it I have to say I'm excited. As much as it pains me to say that but I am excited for 2.8 as a fan of the series. I'm a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts guys. For those who don't know I have been with the series when Kingdom Hearts 1 came out. I got the game when I was 6 and I am currently 21 and I am dying because Square Enix please release Kingdom Hearts 3 for God's sake. That being said, people have been asking me about my thoughts about the 2.8 trailer and I've seen the new trailer and I have to say the new trailer looks great. It looks fantastic. It's visually very good looking and I'm generally excited for the content, the new content in 2.8. 2.8 contains uh, I believe like a 50 minute movie of Kingdom Hearts uh, Unchained, which is the, currently the mobile game. It also has uh, Aqua's Passage, which is the demo, essentially the demo for Kingdom Hearts 3 visually. I'm not sure about combat wise, but that was a missing part of uh, Birth by Sleep that I'm generally excited to play. Aqua is my favorite character in Kingdom Hearts and the demo looks great from what we've seen. And I'm generally really excited because that is the glimpse of Kingdom Hearts 3. And then it also contains uh, an HD remaster of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance from the 3DS and this I'm not sure this is the first time this has happened but I believe this is one of the first few games that is being ported from the 3DS to the PS4. That's something we we don't see very often and I'm, I'm very curious how that's going to control uh, with the PS4 touchpad. I'm assuming it's going to be very very similar but that hopefully that port goes well because Dream Drop Distance is considered a good game. I personally hate the story of Dream Drop Distance. I feel like it adds so much crap and fluff to the plot that's just an already confusing plot but overall I can't be I can't be mad at it. Uh, it, it plays fun and I have played it before. I do own a 3DS, but my hands are too big to play it and it gets uncomfortable after a while. And I, once I realized that 2.8 was coming out, I was like, there's no point in me beating this if there's going to be an HD version on the PS4 with a controller that I can actually hold. I technically haven't beaten Dream Drop Distance yet because I want to play it for 2.8. That's kind of it. I want to get all the 2.8 in one big whoosh. But the new trailer looks great. I think the new engine has really come into its own. Before, what we've seen from uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff and 2.8 stuff is like, I'm not super super into this engine yet. It seems really round and bubbly. It's just so jarring compared to the past engines with the Kingdom Hearts 2 and 1. But they've really tweaked it from the last time we saw 2.8 and it looks pretty good. It looks very HD and next gen so I can't fault them on that. It looks good. What can I say? Also, as dumb as I think adding on an extra major side plot with um, Unchained is, the movie version looks very interesting. The voice acting seems cool. I like, I kind of like the foretellers crap. I, I think it adds an extra layer of epicness epicness. Can I say that? That sounds kind of dumb. I think it adds an extra mystery to everything in Kingdom Hearts and we all, we can totally, totally tell that the foreteller stuff is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. There is no doubt about it because if it wouldn't be featured in 2.8 if it wasn't crucial to up and coming plots. So we know the foreteller's side story and plot and like the Book of Prophecies is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3. So please read up on this guys because you're going to be super confused for KH3. I can totally tell. Heck, I'll probably be confused and I know what's going on, which is the worst part. I do, I do like the plot in general. I just feel it's adding more depth to the Kingdom Hearts universe instead of like ooh darkness versus light and stuff it makes it more interesting and um, hopefully it comes full circle in Kingdom Hearts 3 I, I know it's really trying to set up for this massive epic epic showdown and so far if they if this movie thing is pulled off right I can totally see that working out we also got an official release date for 2.8 and everyone kept screaming at me oh my god it's delayed it's delayed bones did you know it's delayed <laughs> I know it's delayed I've been complaining about delays recently and we've seen an incredible amount of delays for AAA games. Uh, really obnoxious delays too, like two month delays and stuff. And I can't get angry at this one mainly because according to rumors or this is confirmed or from my understanding that 2.8 was delayed by roughly a month because Final Fantasy 15 was delayed. And Square Enix didn't want to release the games in essentially the same time frame. So it's not because 2.8 is like not ready 
or the developers need more time, I think Nomura knows it's ready. Uh, it's just being released a little bit later for um, probably marketing reasons and whatnot. And moving it to, you know, just by one month, it's not it's not awful. And it seems very certain that it's coming out then. I know for a fact that it's not exactly, you know, it's an HD port. They're not gonna like, it's not like this massive, huge game. Uh, chances are it's probably ready already. So, you know, they're probably just tweaking graphics to show it off. You know, the only thing I could be worried about when 2.8 is the port of Dream Drop Distance because, you know, that, that could go wrong in a few ways because of the touchpad controls. But we'll see how that works out. Overall, quality assurance with 2.8 is I feel like the game is going to be good. Uh, Kingdom Hearts has been a consistently good series, even its quote unquote worst games are still good, technically. So, you know what? If you're interested in Kingdom Hearts at all, I highly recommend picking up 2.8. On top of that, if you've never been into Kingdom Hearts before and you'd like to get into the series, here's my recommendation for you. If you have a PS3, you can get 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5. Uh, right now for like 40 bucks, that's uh, it's four games and two movies. It's a fantastic deal and it would set you up for Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and eventually Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm crossing my fingers that uh, Square Enix does end up putting all the games on the PS4 at some point as some master collection or something like that. I'd love that. Uh, mainly because like we're so close to being on all the same console. You know, we're close, you know, it's PS3 and PS4. It's not the same, it's not the same everything. And to streamline the Kingdom Hearts series onto one console would be a just, oh. Oh, it put me at ease for so many things. You know how many consoles I've had to go through just to understand Kingdom Hearts as it's coming out? Good God, it has been a journey. I have been with this series for so long, and it's killing me. But I can wait. I can wait a little longer. 2.8 looks great, and I'm excited to understand that to understand Kingdom Hearts 3. It's this long journey that we all must walk through to understand this gosh dang plot, for God's sake. And also, can we just talk about that Simple and Clean remix? Because that thing is fantastic, for those who don't know, that played with the trailer. And oh my god, I've been listening to this all day, and I- oh god, it's so good. It's so good! For those who are like, oh no, it's like, I'm so tired of these remixes for these games. Why don't they just make a new song and stuff? Blah, blah, blah. Um, all the Kingdom Hearts remasters have had the a remix of the uh, like the original songs from you know Sanctuary to Symbol and Clean. They've all had remixes for that. 2.8 is, re is a remaster, and um, the remix version of Simple and Clean sounds great for this version. It's fantastic. It sounds very very new, uh, considering this song has been out for a long long time. Uh, I'm very certain that they're going to make a new song for Kingdom Hearts 3. So I'm not like oh no, I, just, I want a new song. Blah, blah, blah. I will take this remix. My God, it is very very good. Please go take a listen. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. It is a good, good remix for Lordy. So yeah, those are my thoughts. And overall, I'm excited. I'm gonna get it on launch and I will be doing a Kingdom Hearts stream drop distance for beginners for those who are curious, as long as talking about uh, Aqua's passage because that's definitely the, the thing I'm most invested in. So expect the stuff on that when it comes out. So yeah, that's it. Kingdom Hearts 2.8 looks all right and I'm still kind of bitter about it, but I'll buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Bye everybody, have a fantastic day.